All right, George here from Delusional Design CNC. Uh, one last video tonight. Kind of wanted to go over a bunch of things that I see. I uh, have customers send me vials all the time that they're struggling with or thinking the machine's broke or something uh, because of a file problem. Um, one of the things that uh, I've learned from experience, uh, you can't make chicken soup out of chicken poop. You really have to have a good file to start with. Uh, sheet cam has two or three things it cannot deal with. Um, and this file pretty much has all of them in there. Um, if you look right here, uh, you can see this part has an overlapping uh, path right here. This line is crossing over that line. If you look over here, yeah, you can see these are teed in. Um, there is virtually no way this could possibly cut this right. I mean, if it starts here, it comes along, and goes to here, w which way does it go? Does it continue down that path, or does it go here? It can't break the torch into two pieces, so there's no way it could do a T um, effectively, okay? Um, you know, another thing, I mean, it, it, most of this part looks pretty good to the, to the naked eye uh, without zooming in or changing our view. We would think, oh man, if we got rid of this overlapping path, we're going to be good. If we broke this T, we'd be good, right? Um, not not really here. Uh, let's zoom in on this area right here a little bit, okay? Um, if I go into this uh, and I just change my view uh, instead of normal, I'm going to change the outline. Oh, wow. Well, look at that. Uh, we actually have, again here, we have an overlapping path. We have this squiggle where it's going to have to cut back. And, you know, if the machine was trying to cut this, if it didn't just make this totally corrupt where it wouldn't even cut, it would come in here, go back, come back, and this is going to cause a torch dive because this metal is going to be gone when it comes back and forth there. Okay, uh, zoom back out uh, right right here. If I go to node editing on this, uh, you look at this node, looks a little different than that one. You see how big it is, right? Well, right here, I mean, if I just drag this out, I've actually got you know, uh, four nodes stacked on top of each other in one spot. I mean, it looks fine, but if this has an overlapping path, yet again, it's another spot that may not be uh, correct. And yet here, uh, this right here, this is not connected. This is not a closed outer shape. Uh, sheet cam needs to have a closed outer shape. Um, it can do open paths like this one, uh, on the inside of a closed shape but it can't just do open paths um, anytime you have you know nodes that are quadrupled uh, T's overlapping paths overlapping paths where it comes back across itself uh, broken outer shapes uh, it's gonna give you a problem another thing that we uh, you know look here and you're like oh this looks kind of normal but uh, is it uh, look down at the bottom here we see it's group of two objects right so if I do a control shift G to undo it uh, now uh, we have um, gotten rid of that but look man if I move that wait 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 we, we've got a another uh, piece that was stacked right there so um, you know something to Keep in mind that you know you could have pieces that are stacked on top of each other and looks like it's normal in the drawing you can have a line that looks normal uh, you know this looks like a closed shape you know if I go back to uh, display mode and I go to normal I mean this shows fill this would look like it's good right uh, but this is far from good this file has one two uh, we're going to count this as three, four, five, six issues in this file. Major issues too, right? Uh, what does it look like here? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and re-bring it back in uh, in the sheet cam. So um, here, bring this in. Uh, man, look at this. Drawing contains overlapping paths. Uh, open lines have not been off. Uh, 
offset so it removed some of the duplicates so it removed the duplicate we had here but uh, if we zoom in here we see that T uh, if we zoom in up here we see where our crossover is same with here if you zoom in you can see it you know we've got another overlapping path okay and then uh, notice these parts are red instead of yellow and this is white which signifies an open path which here we have an open path um, definitely take the time especially if it's something that uh, you got from clip art or you're doing something with fonts you know definitely take the time to go into your file because man just probably 90 to 95 percent of the calls I get are exactly these problems it's it's overlapping paths it's problems with the file so uh, you know don't be afraid to zoom in change to the outline for the uh, you know view uh, like here you know I just did this as uh, you know color zero and it actually put all of this right but look we've got another another layer still right you know uh, the there it's like a duplicate of it you know uh, this piece is hardcore corrupted you know there's no rhyme or reason uh, you know um, you know if you look at these numbers that's s6 and that's s7 uh, it's actually gonna go over here uh, cut this whole box out drop it in the water and then try to cut this and then try to cut that uh, this thing is so corrupted because of all these problems there is virtually no way this is gonna cut okay so um, just pay close attention if you see warnings up here um, it's it's letting you know there's something wrong uh, when you're in Inkscape uh, down at the bottom uh, this is telling you uh, a lot about the file, but I mean some of these are pretty obvious others aren't a good way to be able to see the ones that aren't obvious go to view display mode uh, It's normally on normal uh, Go ahead and put it into outline when you go into outline I mean we could see that this looks thicker because there are, is multiple pieces stacked on top of each other We could zoom in and see where our line is broke uh, you know these are uh, things that you can do so uh, if you click on your part and then do tab uh, you can see where it jumps over um, just a lot of different ways to go in and get to uh, spotting your problem so uh, hope this helped um, just let me know if you got any other suggestions on things to make videos about but this here is a big one uh, these are also if you look in your sheet cam uh, manual right uh, in the help section uh, there are tutorials uh, you can go to your operation tutorials introduction uh, you can go uh, in Inkscape in the help section see the Inkscape manual but you can go into the different manuals there on your thumb drive or on your computer as well um, definitely spend some time reading through some of those uh, a lot of times I'll screenshot where it is in the manual and send it to people showing what the fix is you know um, and this is not a rare occasion either for it to have all these problems um, in one file uh, when you're dealing with clip art um, believe me if people are giving it away, uh, there's a reason. <laughs> you know, uh, if if it's good, it costs money. Don't expect somebody to give up good hard work uh, for free. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, this will conclude our video tonight. Thanks.